I've had a number of emails with questions about CCTV in schools and whether you can get access to the CCTV imagery in schools. Now, whilst this is a very broad area, the basic position is as follows. CCTV surveillance within a school is obviously intended to be for the safety and the security of the school within areas that are not easily monitored. In other words, it shouldn't really involve the classrooms, but any other sort of public areas that the school needs to monitor by the use of CCTV that it can't otherwise watch. Now it should go without saying that CCTV imagery is personal data for the purposes of the Data Protection Act, so obviously CCTV footage will engage the Data Protection Act and GDPR, the retained version after Brexit. Now when might someone exercise the right of subject access request? to access this data? Well, a person aged 12 or over is presumed to be of a sufficient age and maturity to exercise their own right for data protection, unless the contrary is shown. This is often referred to as being Gillick competent. If your child is under 12 years old and you have parental responsibility, then you can exercise this right on their behalf. However, the difficulty with accessing CCTV footage is that it will usually contain footage of other people, other than the data subject, him or herself and schools will generally reserve the right to refuse access to such CCTV footage where it's going to prejudice the legal rights of other individuals or jeopardise any ongoing investigation which might relate to those third parties. That is, unless of course they can and do obtain consent from anyone else appearing in the video and it doesn't jeopardise any ongoing investigation. So the likelihood is if you're going to request such CCTV footage it's likely to be for an ongoing investigation or something that's happened recently and you want access to that footage. In this scenario, the school is quite likely to exercise their right to refuse access to the CCTV footage because it might jeopardise the investigation or the rights of other parties. As a last resort, however, the court might order disclosure of such imagery, but obviously that requires court proceedings to request such an order. So whilst this is a very vast topic, I do hope that it's covered one or two of the questions that you might have had. So please do like the video and share this video and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.